Hi everyone, it's art time. I love art lessons and I hope you do too. Last week we learned a little bit about this artist that you see here. Can you remember his name? His name is Vincent van Gogh. Did you get that right? Last week we appreciated some of his artworks and had a go at drawing our own sunflower. Today we are going to look at something else he was famous for painting. Himself. He painted many pictures of himself and these are called self-portraits. Today we are going to look at some of these and have a go at creating our own self-portrait. So this means that today you are going to learn how to draw yourself. So let's get started. What is a self-portrait? So a self-portrait is a representation of an artist that is drawn, painted, photographed or sculpted by that artist. For artists, self-portrait artwork represents the whole artist. So how they see themselves what they are feeling and how they want to be seen by others. So here are a few famous self-portraits. We have Pablo Picasso, Frida Kahlo and Rembrandt. Now you can see that each looks quite different because different artists have different styles. So Pablo Picasso his self-portrait looks a little bit more like a cartoon. And Frida and Rembrandt look a little bit more realistic. Rembrandt, his one actually looks almost like a photograph of himself. Now, Vincent van Gogh, he painted many self-portraits. This is one of them here. While he experimented with a variety of different subjects, so different themes like the sunflowers, uh, landscapes, and still life, Vincent van Gogh is quite famous for all of the self-portraits that he painted of himself. He actually painted 36 self-portraits in only 10 years. And he painted himself because he wanted to practice painting people. These over here are some of his self-portraits from different times in his life. And if you'd like to see some more, you can visit the Van Gogh Museum website and they have his whole collection of self-portraits. So now it's your turn. You're going to follow these steps to create your own self-portrait. You will need some of these things. You'll need a mirror just to help you um, look at yourself and your features. You'll need some blank paper. Uh, you could use a lead pencil or a black sharpie or texter to draw your outline and some colouring material. So whatever you have at home, you can use crayons, pencils, um, and you can even use paint. So our self-portraits are going to look quite different because we are all unique. So you're going to think about the features of your face. And we're going to have a go, go at drawing a self-portrait of our face and our neck up to our shoulders. And you can use a mirror to help you. Okay, so let's begin. You need to draw a big oval shape on your page. If your mum or dad are with you, you might ask them to help you to lightly draw two lines in pencil to help divide your face. You can draw a straight line going down halfway across your oval and another line going across your oval in the middle. 
And these lines will help you so you know exactly where your eyes and your ears will be positioned on your face. Some people, when they're drawing a face, they sometimes draw their eyes and their ears at the top of their head. But if you look in the mirror, you'll see that your eyes and your ears are actually in the middle of your face. Step two, you're going to draw a curved line on either side of the head to represent your ears. So remember to do them halfway. You don't have to draw those lines. Uh, you can just imagine or visualize those lines halfway across and halfway down if you don't have them drawn on your, on your page. Step three, draw two rainbow shapes for the top of your eyes. And they can go right in between the ears in the middle of your face. Next, you can add a smile underneath the rainbow shape to complete the outline of your eyes. Step five, draw two circles inside the eye. And this is to form the iris of your eye. This is the colored part of your eye. Step six, draw a dark dot in the middle of each circle to represent your pupils. And your pupils they're the little black dots, and that's what we can actually see out of. Step seven, draw two rainbows above your eyes for your eyebrows. Step eight, you can add some eyelashes now. You can make them long or you can make them short. It's up to you. Step nine, now you can have a look at your nose in the mirror. Do you have a long nose, short nose, is it pointy, is it a bit more round? So think about the size and the shape of your nose and then you can draw your nose underneath your eyes in the middle of your face. Now it's time for you to draw your mouth. And you're going to use some curved lines. Think about the shape of your lips and your smile. You can do a nice big wide smile. Or you could draw your lips closed together, doing a little smile. You can even add some dimples on the sides if you've got those. Next, you can draw two lines down to the bottom of your page to represent your neck. And if you have room, you can extend those lines to draw your shoulders too. Okay, step 12. Now you're going to think about your hair. Do you have long hair? Or do you have short hair? Or is it medium? Have a think of what kind of lines you will use for your hair. Is your hair curly? Is it straight? Is it spiky? Is it wavy? So have a go at drawing your hair. Now it's time to add colour. So think about the colour of your features and use whatever materials you have at home 
to colour yourself in. So think about your eye colour, think about your hair colour, your skin tone, and think about uh, you could use a different colour for your background to make, to make your self-portrait really stand out and pop. You can use whatever materials you have at home. So you could use paint, you could use uh, oil pastels or crayon, or you can use coloured pencils. Or you can even mix some, <clears throat> mix some materials, like in the first one there, We've got some crayons for the face and the hair and the features. And then the background is painted in watercolour paint. So you can even mix some of your materials together for your portrait. Last of all, I would love to see a photo of your self-portrait. So please take a photo and upload it to Google Classroom. I cannot wait to see your self-portraits kindergarten. I hope you've enjoyed doing them today and I look forward to seeing you again soon. See you next time.